I know many here have worked very hard uh, to make sure that more young people uh, are involved and uh, that this becomes a lifetime uh, passion for them. And believe me, uh, I don't want to have cars getting all those deer, so we need to have a good, strong <laughs> hunting uh, society here in Wisconsin. All right, there we go. It's locked. I, I got to tell you, it was a long, hard fight. It took a lot of education for a lot of folks uh, across this state. But this is a great day in Wisconsin because we uh, will finally be able to, this fall, allow 10 and 11 year olds to get out in the woods, enjoy hunting, be with their parents or with their guardian or grandpa and grandma, whoever it may be, and uh, hopefully learn uh, about hunting and of course want to do it for the rest of their life. Wisconsin does have a very strong hunting tradition, although our number of hunters is decreasing dramatically. We have older hunters that are, that are retiring from the sport just because of, of um, the aging process. And so it's, it's very important that, that we encourage our, our young people to get out into the woods. Wisconsin is the 29th state to pass families of field legislation which have now allowed more than 300,000 youth to enjoy their first day of field. This issue helped bring together uh, sportsmen and sportsmen groups from all across Wisconsin, from you had bear groups and bow hunting groups and trapping groups and other groups that maybe uh, don't always see eye to eye on certain issues. Uh, this issue helped bring them together. This has been four years in the making and uh, today wouldn't be possible without many of our partners, National Shooting Sports Foundation, United States Sportsman Alliance, Wisconsin Bear Hunters, SCI International, and the Turkey Federation and many other groups. We worked hard to get this Menard Bill where it's at today.